Welcome to Edge Loves Unicanals. What do I want from this talk? I want to motivate you to start using Unicanal apps. Unicanal applications have been there for a while, but probably the right time for them is approaching. I will show the value of a Unicanal app by uh, covering uh, an example use case, the Edge. And when I refer to the Edge, I, I mean the distributed architecture where you have the compute and storage close to the location where it will be consumed. What is a Unicanal? There is a formal definition that I will skip and I will uh, get the simplified one where we can say that a unikernel is the minimum operating system that combined along with your code makes possible to run your application. Let's go back to our use case. In order to build an application for the Edge, you, you need to bear in mind these four key elements. First, our Edge application must be lightweight. It must consume few memory and, and CPU since Edge locations are constrained in compute power. Our Edge application must be secure because uh, at the Edge we have new security concerns. It's more difficult to maintain the control on the environment. And finally, our Edge application must provide a good performance. And probably in many cases, our application needs to be as much as deterministic as possible because the real-time use cases are really close to the uh, Edge uh, locations. Why unikernel fits in this uh, use case? Let's think about the, um, the unikernel qualities. An application compiled uh, into a unikernel only has the required functionality of the kernel, nothing else, which gives us a lightweight size and memory footprint, along with the security benefits of having a reduced attack surface in our in our application and also better performance. Also, the unikernels uh, don't have to initialize uh, devices or services that are not needed, improving security and performance, giving us a really fast boot times of the application. And third, uh, unikernels run a single process. They don't have to change between rings or take into account the kernel scheduling interrupts. So if you remove interrupts, you are getting a more uh, deterministic uh, application. But what about the containers here? Well, there are some key differentiators here uh, between containers and unikernels. First, uh, containers uh, bring isolation through C groups, but they have to uh, serve a common piece of the system, that is the kernel. That means that if we have a security breach or the kernel has some interrupts, will affect all containers in the system. In contrast with uh, unikernel apps, uh, they have their own kernel. They have more uh, isolation here, and they don't have to bear in mind the interrupts of the other uh, components, the other containers. Two, with containers, we don't have the control of the kernel in which uh, our application will be running on because it's part of the system. But with unikernels, we can take some decisions and pick the, the components, the kernel components that we want. And we will be sure that uh, our application will be consistent uh, independently in which system is running on. And that will be uh, more performance and lightweight. And third, uh, there is another difference is that in a container, we should, as a best practice, use a single process per container. We should, but we are forced uh, to use a single process uh, with unikernel, so we are forced to follow this, this best practice. Why there are not that many unikernels out there? Well, the problem is that we lack a broader, com a broader uh, community, and that gives us that we don't have clear standards because we lack of this community. Also, we don't have the right tools because we, th there are not that many people uh, developing them. And finally, the final uh, reason is that because the, your application must be uh, modified in order to run as a unikernel. So what I, w what I want from this talk? Well, I want to change this. I want to create a, a community. I want to, you to start playing with unikernels and give feedback to the tools that you are using, helping to consolidate a community around unikernels. And if you can help with others, that would be great. How can uh, you start? Well, you can start playing with any of the multiple uh, library operating sy systems that are out there. I would recommend you to start with uh, unikernel Linux. That is just four commands if you have a Fedora. So start exploring the benefits of uh, unikernel apps. Thank you.